Hey everyone, it's Shane Lane. Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a long time, but I've been busy with life, with work, um, managing TC. Anyway, I've been I just been busy, but I did go to Anime Expo, so we're gonna talk about Anime Expo while we open up another box of Battles of Legends: Monstrous Revenge. Let's go. Alright guys, then we're back. So when we're talking about Anime Expo, I mean this is a pretty, well, first of all, this is a pretty small box, so hopefully we can get through it fast, but <laughs> at the end of the video, I'm going to be showing you like clips and photos of my experience there, um, but for the most part, let's talk about day one. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard the nightmare what was happening at Anime Expo, but uh, it was pretty, pretty crowded. Ooh, we have Monster in the Dragon Clown, Crown. It was Black Mamba, Kobe. And, um... It was pretty crowded like literally you're shoulder to shoulder. You're, you're in there like What is it? You're in there like a freaking can of sardines and it was just All you really hear is like shoes squeaking because everybody's like shuffling over around and it was just really It was, it was really packed. It was definitely a line con um, Ooh, Dark Magician Night of Dragons. So basically, uh, I guess well, thank you to my nephew who uh Got me tickets to go because he volunteered and I guess if you volunteer you're allowed one free pass to a person So he gave me a four-day pass. So I did go all four days, but The only downside about me going for day, Well, it's good. I went four days, but one of the things um I Okay the ooze giant. So one of the things why it was like a downside for me is because I was on a time limit I couldn't stay for like the whole time each day it was like I go there and I leave at 3 uh, just because I have other engagements I need to go to but I did have a good time when I was there but my whole, <laughs> I keep saying but the whole time I'm there um, I didn't really experience the whole anime expo thing well, especially the first day because my experience there I went for I didn't know I was going to be into this as much but I went for like autographs and all that so I got a lot of autographs that, um, of the voice actors there on the English voice actors uh, for Japanese they were pretty hard to get because people in order for you to get uh, a signature in the first place is you need a ticket to get those signatures and go to rule so meaning you have to get in line before the convention opens and then they issue out a ticket and don't have limited set amount of tickets for the voice actors or guests who you want to see uh, so uh, the first day I wanted to get like Damien Mills, uh, Caitlin Glass, and Susie Young, but um, like the tickets I got were like expired because they're, they're time slotted. Ooh, let's try H Master. Nice. They're time slotted and uh, yeah, they're just time slotted. So if you miss the time, I don't know if the voice actors will actually hook you. I mean, they most likely will. They're pretty nice people for the most part. And then there were some voice actor lines that were just empty. <laughs> um, but uh, you know, I didn't really recognize who they were. Uh, so the first day I wanted to get Kaylin Glass, uh, Damian Mills, and Susie Young, but since I was ooh, assault synchro. But uh, since what was I saying? Since Susie Young was only going to be there one day only, and that was like the main one I wanted to get that day. I waited in line for her, and that was the only one I got because Damian was a no show, and Caitlyn's line was just <laughs> very very long. Uh, if you if you're not sure who. Uh, Caitlyn Glass is. She does the voice of Cammy from Street Fighter. Pretty cool. And she also does the voice of Winry from Full Metal Alchemist. And she does she does some other ones too, but those are the two main ones I know her for. Um, so <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, I only got Susie Young. The uh, reason why I wanted to wait for her is because my nephew, like I said, he got me in, and he his favorite anime is Digimon, and she does ooh, and she does the voice of Mimi. In Digimon so of the new one that released on Hulu uh, a week ago so I haven't had the time to look at it yet but she does do the voice and uh, I haven't given it to him and to this day I have to make time to actually go over there and give it to him so uh, hopefully he doesn't see this video beforehand because I know he watches it sometimes so we'll see <laughs> it is what it is right all right so that's the oh in the first day which is real, real it was bad man the first day it was just so crowded okay here's how the first day went I waited in line to get a ticket for 
because this is after me getting my badge. Shadow was like, nice. So you have to get a badge, so you know, you have to go to the registration aisle. And then um, you, get, you have to wait in line to get your ticket for signatures. I did this for three days. Uh, every, every day, except for the last day, I actually got a signature from somebody. So, um, what was I saying? Right up. Nice. Can we get a quarter century this time? Well, we got one last time. But, you know, just me being greedy. So the first day was cool. Second day. The first, okay, here's what happened the first day. So you wait in line to get, I don't know if I said this already, but you wait in line to get two, I waited two hours to get a ticket just to get signatures. And then I waited another two and a half hours to get in. And and the thing is with me, me, I met this guy there who's pretty cool, Joe. And if you're watching this, what's up? <laughs> and uh, he, me and him accidentally cut these people. And I was looking around like, wait, did we just cut them? And I asked him like, hey, are you guys cool? I'm sorry for like cutting you guys, but I mean, are you cool? And they were pretty cool about it. So if it wasn't for them, thank you. Um, I don't know if you're ever gonna see this, but if you <laughs> like, we would have waited another hour on top of that. It was just crazy to get in. And then once you get in, um, like I said, it was just shoulders for like a can of sardines. Uh, the second day was a lot better. Uh, it was still crowded, uh, only because it was a, a Saturday that day, I believe. Right? No, no, no. It was a Sunday. Yeah, it was still it was all right. Third day was pretty cool uh, a lot less crowded and um, yeah I and mean, but the fourth day was fantastic because that's how I think an NMX was trippy and in, in terms of space and walking around um, because man I definitely had room to walk around I actually the fourth day I didn't really do much on the first second and third I did do signatures and I'll show you guys at the end of the video of what I got signed but if you've seen my Instagram you probably saw it already but uh yeah the fourth day um was chill man battlefield treasure like i i went to explore the exhibits but it kind of sucks how i did it the fourth day because they ran out of free stuff only thing i got was like this this country roll bag which uh, i'm not even subscribed are you guys subscribed to control i'm not so uh just only because i don't watch a new school anime like i'm still stuck on like the bit i haven't you guys are gonna hate me for this but i haven't even seen naruto <laughs> i know uh, it was definitely on my list to watch as long, and One Piece as well. Um, but I was more into Bleach, and, you know, I was like a diehard Bleach fan. And I was like, oh, you know, Naruto K, <laughs> One Piece K. But it was, yeah, I was dumb. So <laughs> I'm definitely going to give those a try. Uh, I've seen a few episodes here and there, but I think I watched Fillers. Sometimes. Didn't we just, oh, no, that's a rough record. Back row Cosmos and a D Fisher. That's actually pretty rare to get these both in one pack. I think they're still worth a value. Definitely, definitely. Some anti-meta stuff. Alright, can we get a quarter century rare? So overall, I say my experience there. I'm probably gonna repeat myself on this one. But it was, you know, not bad. First day was not good. Second day was another back-to-back? -back? That's pretty cool. Okay. But uh, what was I saying? Yeah, second day was alright. Um, I got signatures from a few I few voice actors I didn't know like the thing is I looked them up before I went and got tickets the next day uh, just to see if I really wanted them duality nice what was the same with this so I didn't know who was gonna be there until the next day uh, because I would go home and do the research at night Excuse me. and then to see who they were and you know I, I take it one day at a time um i didn't really look too far in advance because a lot of the voice actors there would be repeats but super poly nice but i didn't know who was going to be there like that one day so like susie young i didn't know she was going to be there one day so i looked in line I was like, oh she's only going to be there one day so i had to wait for her and then i didn't i didn't think i was going to be into getting stuff autographed like that but it turns out i am you know it makes your stuff one of a kind. I know some people don't like it being signed. Uh, Dante. So, you know, it just... Maybe they want to get it signed by the artist. Maybe they want to get it signed by... Um, the voice actor or the illustrator. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. I didn't think I was going to be into it, but I like it. So, I like getting my stuff signed to me. But it's not personal. I just like their signatures on it. It just makes it... I don't know. Valuable? more 
like more for me, <laughs> I guess. Oh, we got that flame wingman. Nice. But yeah, um, there is another event I'm gonna be going to later on in August called Collecticon. And for my 1,000 subscriber giveaway, we're gonna be doing something crazy. Well, to me, I think it's crazy. For you, I don't know. It's, it's, it's really a hitter. It's like your what do you think about it type of thing. You know what I mean? But I think it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? All right, here we go. Last pack magic. Can we get a quarter century rare? Let's find out. We got the one, two, and in the front. And bam. Get the deer note. Additional mirror level seven. Sage of Wisdom, Himmel, number 65, Edition Buster, and <laughs> Water Enchanters of the Temple. Nice. Very nice. All right. Let me spread this out for you guys so you can see what we got uh, for the, I guess the Ultra Rares, all you really need to see is like Dimensional Fissure, but you know, that's all right. Oh, I want to, I want to make sure you guys see the whole name first. You have to get spread right there. It's like power shuffling, man. Power, power, shuffle. Right of these near. Oh, I heard the adventure intro was doing good. Yeah, we're just gonna leave it like that. Oh, okay. I think that looks good. Okay, so let's talk about my experience at Anime Expo. Let me just bring up this folder so I could talk about it and edit about it um, once I put it up. So on the first day, yeah, it was super crowded. Like I know in the photo and the video, it doesn't look that crowded. But that's because I'm outside. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Once you go inside of the ex exhibits and art alley, dude, it's just super, super crowded. I think it's like, you know, first day hype, anime expo, and everybody's just there. I was there. <laughs> and it was just really super packed. Um, so, what I did do the first day, I just I got this thing signed for my nephew. Uh, I bought the print there, and I also got a card signed uh, by Susie Young. Because the only reason why, because I like the collecting. The trader cards but i got him personally signed a print and here's the print it looks pretty cool it says to danny and then her signature susie young if you can read it uh she signed it in gold which i thought was a good choice maybe green or pink would have been a little better but gold is pretty nice um so that was the first day like i waited i got through at eight i didn't leave at three and that was the only thing i got done i did walk through the art gallery a little bit but um nothing really caught my eye there you know what i mean and then uh, here's a picture of a uh, of Fantasy Star uh, NGS. I don't know if you guys played a game, but they did like a big sponsor with Sega. Sega there. So I mean, once you walk into like the the area, I guess you'll see a lot of the Fantasy Star line too and NGS. I don't know if you guys see my like YouTube ads, but they're pretty much everywhere. Here's some statues that I saw that were pretty cool on the first day, and then that was pretty much it. And then. And then when I was walking out, there was like people waiting in line to get in because the wait list, because they were over capacity and then they were just wait, waiting in line to get in. Like this is the end of the line and you're not even near state, I mean, crypto.com arena yet. You know what I'm saying? Like it was, you were like half a mile back and one person spoke out loud and said, dude, we've been here two hours and we only moved like five feet. I was like, man, that's pretty crowded. And this is like half a mile <laughs> of line. So I don't know how they're gonna, I don't know if they ever got in or they got in like probably like at 6 p.m. even when the, the convention is like starting to close, but it was pretty crazy that line. So the second day was kind of a lot more calm. Um, we definitely, like it was a little bit more room to go to. Um, I did get some stuff signed that day. This is probably like the busiest day I got I got stuff done. So here's everything I got signed. Um, I guess one of like the highlights other things I got signed was uh, was from Caitlin Glass, who does the voice for Winry. And if you guys don't know my voice, my, my voice, my first name is Edward. And it didn't click to me at the time, but she like wide open eyes because I never get stuff like like personally to me so she, i had her had two edward and she like kind of got me like surprised because you know edward edward and she hooked me up with two more prints and a signature on my ticket which i thought was really cool i got them framed uh yeah let me let me get those right now all right here i know you guys saw it in the video but here's like an actual because i had it framed and you can see me <laughs> 
but it says, you know, to, to Edward, much love, and then she signed it, and then it says Winry, she drew the wrench. I thought it was pretty cool. It was like a more Disney-style type of look, but yeah, it, it was a good print from her. And then, and then um, she also gave me this signed as well. Well, she signed my ticket, and I had her frame to put it on there. I mean, it's just wall decor. I'm definitely going to try to get an office soon, and then, um, you know, do it that way. So those are some of the extra stuff I got signed by her. Um, I know you saw all these Digimon cards. The Pokemon cards you saw were signed by the voice actors from For Go and their actual respective Pokemon. So, I mean, except for the Inteleon, I don't know if it's not I just had um, the voice actor for Go sign in, who was Zeno. Zeno, I, mean, I guess that's how you say his name. But he, he was nice enough to sign it. Uh, the Cinder Ace was actually signed by, by the voice actor for Cinder Ace and Go. So that was pretty cool. Uh, definitely a really good, you know, real gem to me. And then, yeah, that's pretty much what I got signed. And then on the third day, I got there at six because I really wanted a signature from from uh, Korosaki Ichigo from the Japanese version. And he also does the voice of Wiz from Dragon Ball Super. But people were camping out and I just couldn't get it, you know what I'm saying? So it was, I couldn't get it because people were camping out. So when I got in front of like, Two like an hour had passed by and they said they're sold out. I was like, oh, of course. But I really wanted to get um, Yusuke Kozaki's signature. I don't know if you guys know him, but he's the illustrator from Pokemon Go. He is now, but he also does a bunch of other stuff. But I know him from Pokemon Go, and he also designed the Professor Willow. Uh, so I got a signature on these two. <laughs> um, it kind of sucks for me that day because I waited all day to get this done. But when he, when I finally got to him, he wasted a lot of energy. I dare say because um he because a lot of artists when you get there people don't want just a signature they want stuff customly drawn so when he got to me he was pretty tired but when I first got there he was offering five signatures and then it dwindled down to two when he got to me but then I had him like he signed the secret rare one uh the professor Richard but then I was like come on and he signed the book that I bought because I bought the book from him but he was like his manager there was like only two but I looked at Yusuke and I was like, come on, man, just one more, sign the full art one. And he, he nodded his head and I was like, yes, thank you, Yusuke. And then, um, you know, I gave him some respect. Like, hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. And it was a good day. Well, besides that, um, oh, on the second day, I forgot to mention this. As I was walking out, uh, I ran into, o well, OTK with Miss Kiff, Emeru, and Tectone was there, but I didn't get a photo with him. Uh, you might see his foot in this photo. But here's a picture of me and Emeru and Miss Kiff, and it was it was pretty random when I ran into him because I was I was actually leaving, and I was like, I didn't bring any drinks or food, and I was like thirsty and dehydrated. So it was funny when I when I asked Miss Kiff, hey, can I get a photo? He was like, what? Because my voice was like, hey, can I get a photo? <laughs> so he he hooked me up with a, well, I don't know, he hooked me up. I mean, there was a like there was a line starting after me, and um. Yeah, I got a photo with them. I was actually on their stream. I don't know if you saw it. Here's a clip of that. I clipped it, so here's a clip. It was actually an Emeru stream. And uh, yeah, it was pretty random. I was actually kind of hoping to run into Miz because uh, I'm a I'm a somewhat of a viewer. I watch him every time on YouTube because I don't have the time to watch him live. But it was pretty cool. I finally met a streamer that I actually enjoy somewhat. So <laughs> yeah. So on the fourth day, it was a lot more chill. I actually went to the expos and all that exhibits, but it kind of sucked because at the exhibit, um, they ran out of things. So I didn't really get any free stuff. I got this crunchy roll bag and that was pretty much it for my anime expo experience. It was mainly getting all these signatures on the second day when I got most of them done. Dude, uh, like that day I, I stayed until like five. So that was the only day I stayed a little later than usual. But I got a lot of stuff signed, and uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with that experience. Um, Cause I, I don't really don't watch any of the new anime. I stick with the old ones. Um, but yeah, I mean that that was the anime expo for me. Uh, hopefully, you guys got to see some stuff you guys wanted to see, or did it get it? Cause I know a lot of people when they go there, they go for the exhibits, go for that. But I went for the, which kind of sucks. Cause I didn't think about it at first. I should have taken video of them signing my stuff make it look a lot more personal or maybe do like an Instagram reel on it I only did that for Yusuke um, because I think that was the most the, the one I really enjoyed the most um, 
because you know it's pretty rare to have them sign something especially here in america based out of japan so uh other than that i hope you guys enjoyed um my experience i hope i didn't rant too long uh, but yeah <laughs> and uh don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys later